Okay, question number seven from S1, June 2015, IAL paper. Um, a doctor is investigating the correlation between blood protein, P, and body mass index, B. He takes a random sample of eight patients and the data are shown in the table below. Draw a scatter, a scatter diagram of these data on the axis provided. So we have to plot these values, A, B against P, on this axis. Let's just zoom out a bit so you can see what's happening. Okay, so you got when B is 32, P is 18. So 32, now you can see that there's five squares for t uh, 10 units, so each one square is two units. So that's 32, and it's the same for the y-axis, 18. So that's 32 and 18 is going to be right here. Put a little cross there. That's, that's point patient A. Patient B, um, 36 and 21. So 36, that's three squares along, and 21. It's going to be like right there, halfway between these two. Then you have um, 40 and 31. 40 and 31. That's patient D. Then patient, uh, sorry, patient C. Patient D is 44 and 39. 44 and 39. It's right there. Um, and then you've got 42 and 21. 42 and 21. going to be about here. Okay, 21 and 12. 21 and 12. About there. Then you got 27 and 19. 27, that's 22, 24, 26, 27 and 19. It's about here. Um, and then finally you've got 37 and 70, 37, which is that's 36, 37, and 70 is all the way up here. That's 2, 4, 6, 7. Okay, that's patient H. So we've got all of the data points plotted now, so that's two marks for the question A. Then it says, the doctor decides to leave out patient H from his calculations. Now this is patient H here, this is the, the plot for patient H give a reason for the doctor's decision. Well, as you can see, it's way outside of the pattern for the data. Okay, you could say it's an outlier, say that, any idea like that, it's an outlier, or you can say you know, that it doesn't follow the pattern of the rest of the data. It doesn't follow pattern for the rest of the data. You can see that basically this is um, some sort of positive correlation, okay, and this, this point H is kind of like way outside of that. It's way outside of the pattern for the data. Some, some idea like that, outlier, doesn't follow the pattern for the data, anomaly, any of these things would give the answer to this question. Okay, now, and then now we're going to go into part C. Okay, for part C, um, we're asked, we're told the, some of the data about how the data varies, um, SBP, SPP, and SBB. That tells you how the data varies, how varied it is amongst itself, like PP and BB, and how they vary with each other. Okay, something about how... Um, gives you an indication of how close each item is to the mean, basically. So you've got to find the product moment correlation coefficient, which is called R, for these seven patients. Okay, now, again, this is something which is pretty simple to do because everything's given to us in the formula. So we need to find a formula for R, and we can see from our formula book, this part here is exactly what we need. Okay, so we need to take this formula um, let's get a new snip. Take this formula here and put it where we need it on this side. Put 
in part C. Okay. So here's the formula that we need now. Basically, how like x and y could be thought as, you know, um, b and p. So we can see that this is how they vary with each other. So that's 369 divided by the square root of, and this is how they vary with each with with them um, with themselves. So s p p and s y y can be taken as um, s x x and s y y. So you have 490 multiplied by 423 and 5 over 7. Okay, and that will give you your the value of R. Now the value of R is basically the value, I mean the value of R will tell you how closely these are, the, the data, the two bits of data B and P are correlated to each other. They'll tell you what type of correlation they have, whether it's positive or negative correlation, and they'll also it will also tell you how close they are to a straight line, how strong the correlation is. Okay, so let's just find out what this is. 369 divided by the square root of 490 multiplied by 423 and 57. Let me just make that a bit tidier. Four hundred and twenty three and five seven. Okay. Four, two, three. Um what we can do is this actually. And five seven. Okay, that's exactly what's written there. And that will give you zero point eight zero nine eight. Zero point eight zero nine eight. So this is the value of R. We can write it to 3SF, 0 0.810. That is R. Now that shows that it's quite strong positive correlation. Okay, it's quite strong positive correlation. As we can see from the graph, okay, they're quite close to the straight line, especially when we have ignored that um, patient H whose uh, data was outside of the pattern of the rest of the data. Now, part D, it tells us, without further calculations, State how R would differ from your answer in part C if it was calculated for eight, all eight patients. That means you're including H, okay, which is an outlier. Okay, if you include H, then the data is not so close to a straight line. Okay, it will cause the value of R to become um, less close to 1. Remember, when, when, if you have a scale here, minus 1 and 0 and 1. When R is minus 1, it's you can say perfect negative correlation. Okay, so that's perfect, perfect negative correlation. When you have R as zero, it's there's no correlation. And when you have R as positive one, it's perfect, positive correlation positive correlation okay so this is quite close to perfect positive correlation it's very close to it but if you include H which is outside you can see from the graph it's outside of our straight line okay this the line of best fit will go through here and the, the points are quite close to that straight line this is way outside from that straight line okay so it will cause the value of R to become less close to 1, still positive, but less close to 1. So it'll be, it will cause the, val the value of R will decrease, okay, but you ha it will still be positive, so it will de decrease um, and get closer to 0, getting closer to 0. It won't go in the negative side. So you should mention something about it decreasing, getting closer to 0, being closer to no correlation. The correlation will become weaker. Okay, you can mention correlation will become weaker. Sorry, my handwriting is going to pop right now. Correlation will be weaker. Weaker. Okay, something like that. 
so there we have the answer to this question number two.